Alright, so hello dears. Um, again, so this is a continuation of your bacterial identification no? um, na topic, again, through smear preparation. Um, so again, we have discussed already from smear prep uh, to staining using gram staining and then finally microscopic um, examination of our prepared uh, smears or stained smears um, and reporting the results. Now, um, for the next part, we'll now discuss another um, fundamental uh, staining procedure in bacteriology and that is your acid fast staining okay but before we go into the process we'll first discuss um, the disease okay or the disease for which this test is used for okay or bakit bakit tayo meron ganito na test actually it's because of this disease and that is your tuberculosis um, tuberculosis okay all right so okay so first we'll start about the disease we'll talk about the disease and then we'll go now to the acid fast staining proper okay all right so again this is tuberculosis now Again, what is tuberculosis? Um, again, tuberculosis is an infectious disease. Um, yeah, it's usually, I think most, it's one of the most common diseases, infectious diseases here in the Philippines. Um, sa una, again, uh, because wala pa tambal jud for tuberculosis, uh, medyo maglisod, uh, naglisod sa pangita, and it's not really naglisod pangita, but it's one of the major um, reasons of death or causes of death sa una, ang tuberculosis. And again, it's usually, it attacks the lungs. So first, the lungs, muna siyang pulmonary TB or PTB. But it can also attack any part of the body, meaning extra pulmonary TB, EPTB. Um, usually, if mabut na siya sa meninges, okay? So pwede ka makakos og meningitis, alright? And you will have tubercular meningitis, okay? Alright, tubercular meningitis. Now, sa inyuhang clean mic, okay? Sa, when you come to CSF uh, examination, if na kay tubercular meningitis, your CSF will have a pellicle formation. Ayan. Pellicle formation um, after 24 hour na room temp, I think, na incubation. Okay? Basta gani sa clean mic, nako uh, AUBF, CM, CSF daw, nag incubate na pellicle formation, press the buzzer, that's tubercular meningitis. Okay? Now, we also have another extra. Um, pulmonary TB na wala sa meninges but sa bones. Now, if mabot siya sa bones, this is now known as your POTS disease. Okay? Alright. Again, sa mga public health students, medyo review na ni, I hope, na-discuss na ako ni sa public health. So again, review lang. For, ano, but for mga bago, then, okay. So, please remember. Again, if mabot siya sa meninges, makakos meningitis, tubercular meningitis, pellicle, pellicle formation sa CSF after 24-hour room temp incubation, and you have POTS disease. If ang TB, maabot na siya sa bones. Okay, alright. Usually sa spine, Anna, or other bones. Alright, so again, that's TB, infectious disease siya. Okay. And we have causes, of course. You have the MTB complex. Now, the major cause good is your Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the predominant, and you have your uh, Mycobacterium bovis occasionally. Now, your MTB complex, when you say complex, daghan kay siya na organisms, okay? Um, and these are the different organisms na makakos sa TB, okay? And all together, they are called as the MTB, Mycobacterium tuberculosis complex. Um, predominant nila is ang MTB followed by M. bovis, but there are other um, uh, Mycobacterium species that can cause the can cause tuberculosis, but it's not um, common na. Like you have M. Kanyeti, M. Uh, um, Pinipe, uh, M. Ped, uh, to siya. Naliwat ako. But we have this mnemonics on, I forgot na. Um, I'll give, I'll, I'll leave it sa yung lecture when you discuss mycobacterium. Um, yeah, but again, when you say complex, dagan kay siyang organisms. Okay, but ang predominant yun na nakakos ay TB is of course, lang ng iba, MTB. And ang, ang second na is M. Bovis. Now, for M. Bovis, when you say M. Bovis, Bovis, when you say bovis, gikan siya ang cow, usually. And for your um, vaccine for TB, that's your BCG vaccine, vaccine di ba? Uh, bacillus of, or bacillus calmet, uh, guerin. Okay? Now, ang gina, ginagamit nila anak na, uh, I think attenuated ba? The strain of mycobacterium is M. bovis. Okay? So, ang M. bovis, ang ilang ginagamit ani, for the BCG, BCG vaccine. BCG, say means sa BCG, Bacillus of, or Bacillus calmet guerin. Okay? And unsa na mycobacterium ang ginagamit for the M, uh, the BCG vaccine, M. bovis. Okay. Alright. So, but again, if ang question is, 
what's the predominant cause of tuberculosis? Then it's MTB. Okay. All right. So again, they're also known as the tubercle bacilli because they produce tubercles in the lungs, mga characteristic lesions in the lungs, tubercles. Okay? All right. That's again MTB. Okay. All right. Okay, so again, we have the different types of causes. Ato na differentiate ang duha. You have the mycobacterium tuberculosis versus mycobacterium bovis. Again, MTB is known as your cox. Ay, bastos. Hindi siya ka... Ah, hindi siya cox, bacillus. It's cox, bacillus. Okay. So, just look at the differences nila. As you can see, they're both obligate aerobe. When you say obligate aerobe, again, they require obligate. Kailangan dito silang oxygen. Kaya wala, mamatay sila. They're slow growing on LJ medium. Of course, your MTB or your mycobacterium species, they are really slow growers. Okay? Ah, but na may MTBs, na may mga mycobacterium species na rapid growers. But generally, they take days, okay, to, to grow. So, muna, usually, dilita mo opt. Sa mo tayo MTB, we, we do not opt for culture if mo diagnose tag TB because, again, it will take time. Mamatay na ang imuhang patient, wala pa nitubo yung kagaw, di ba? So, muna, mag-opt good tao, um, uh, direct uh, sputum smear microscopy or um, DSSM, og um, uh, X-ray ba? Okay? So, dili kayo tamang culture. Okay? Alright? So, please take note lang of the difference. Niacin and nitrate. Basta gani, duha ka ed. Niacin, nitrate reduction positive. Nya M, mycobacterium species. It's press the buzzer, MTB, yun na siya. Kay negative na ang M. bovis, ana. Basta niacin, <coughs> niacin. Example, case study daw. Niacin, nitrate reduction positive. Kana silang duha. Kung kana gani ang duha positive, press the buzzer, then it's most likely MTB. Alright, but if negative, daghang other organisms, okay? So you have M. bovis. Catalase neg ang MTB and it's resistant to thiophene 2 carboxylic acid. Whereas ang imong M. bovis, it's catalase positive and thiazine, uh, the thiophene 2 carboxylic acid susceptible or sensitive. Okay, so again, these are the major causes lang and difference, differences. Okay, alright. So please take note lang, MTB good, niacine positive, nitrate reduction positive. Kana, if, kanang duha, duha ka N, Positive gani, then it's first organism muscle sa mind, it could be MTB. Okay? Alright. Again. Next, we now go to the general characteristics of tubercle bacilli. It's about um, curved rod. Again, so it's a bacilli by the name itself. It measures about 0.2 to 0.6 micron and 1.4 1 to 4 micra in length. So mention gamay lang siya. Alright? Jutes. Okay, Charot. Highly resistant to drying. That is why. Um, delicate siya maka-infect because um, di ba, in the Philippines, common pong kaayo ng mang, mang dura or mang spit. Ay, spit or swallow. Charat, basta. <laughs> Mark, ang aga. Okay, spit. Um, di ba, mo spit sa road. So, example, if the sputum contains tubercle bacilli, so it, it's resistant to drying. So, as mo dry gani or mas muuga ang sputum, um, viable diya po ni mong tubercle bacilli. Meaning, ano pa dyan sila? Kaya pa sila maka-infect. Right? Okay, so because it's highly resistant to drying, and when protected from sunlight, if it's not exposed to sunlight, putrefying meaning pag uh, padulo na ug kauga, uh, like me, charot pa, padulo na pag kauga na sputum for weeks, kung protected siya from sunlight, viable ra gyapon siya. And again, can remain viable in dried sputum. Kada na jung, like example na sa luwa sa road, sputum for 6 to 8 months. See, that's why it's really highly infectious, okay? All right. And droplets of dried sputum in air may be infectious for 8 to 10 days. As you can see, medyo layo ka ayahang mga, um, you know, period of infectivity. Like, taas ka ayahang infectivity na mga days or months. That's why it's really highly infectious. Munang daghang pwedeng makakuha. Okay? Alright. Okay, so modes of killing the bacilli. First one is, of course, direct sunlight. Um, we have to prolong lang the exposure within 2 hours. If kikag culture. Okay? Direct sunlight. Um, in sputum, di ba, kailangan lang kag 20 to 30 hours na exposure. If sputum. Okay, so medyo mga haput po two days. Mga one and a half, one kapin na day. Alright? 5% phenol, difficult to disinfect in sputum. So it require 24 hours gap on exposure. Um, pasteurization or autoclaving, of course, ato ang um, uh, gold standard, ato ang um, lodi. Lodi cakes na to sa uh, sterilization is, of course, your autoclaving. Easily killed by moist heat within... 10 minutes. Okay. Alright. So that's the modes of killing. As you can see, as you, ang medyo common denominator nila, you, uh, samot na if dili um, sterilization, like autoclaving, you have to prolong the exposure. Okay? Because again, that would ensure na ang contact time within your um, disinfectant, example, sunlight or phenol, mas taas. Okay? That would ensure na mamatay yun ang imuhang uh, basilay. Okay? Alright. 
Now we go now to um, transmission. So how is it transmitted? Okay, so it's of course person to person via airborne. Okay, so airborne transmission in a confined environment. So ang MTB makuha daw siya if the patient is active, meaning na agay basilay sa yung lungs, padayon yahang uh, padayon yahang infection. Okay, and um, your the TB patient kana mo ubo siya, mo expel siya og mga droplets. And within those droplets na dito ang basilay, one to three basilay in less than 5 micrometer na droplet nuclei. So, ang droplet nuclei ni mo less than 5 micrometer and each droplet nuclei may contain 1 to 3 bacilli. And then, of course, if duol ra ka, dapat duol man siya, di ba? Dapat duol, uh, pag mulagpot ang droplet nuclei ni mo, ma-inhale ni mo, of course, diretso na, siya sa, na siya sa lungs and boom! Bang! <laughs> boom! Parang neneng beach a lot. Boom! <laughs> um, of course, produce an infection sa lungs. Imagine na, um, droplet nuclei niya, 1 to 3 bacilli. And may kung usa ka ubo or usa ka sneeze sa patient with TB, usa na ka droplet nuclei ma-produce when it can produce a lot, mga basin millions or even, yeah, I don't know. So, manang makakos to chug infection da yun. Okay? Alright. Okay, so here is example, coughing, sneezing, singing, wow, talking, and aerosols. So these are example of droplet nuclei. Um, usually, diba, I think muna po yung mode of transmission sa COVID-19, but there have been reports down na airborne na siya, I don't know. But again, that's droplet nuclei. So these um, activities or these um, yeah, activities can produce these droplet nuclei. So coughing, sneezing, singing. When I was studying this sa third year pa lang, like ako si Sir Jemu, ang nag-teach pa na ako, ha? Singing? And then, I love singing. Paano na yan? Char. <laughs> Joke na. So, pili ang, ang singing. Na-shock po ko. Okay, yeah. Maka-produce din siya uh, droplet nuclei. Or, or mga droplets, rather. Okay? Alright. <laughs> okay. Now, we go na to the numbers. Um, this is, I think, dili na ni siya updated. This was 2017 pa siguro. Atong kami pa nag-third year. Kaya mo pala akong handout na itong nagtuon ko. But, yeah. As you can see, I think na-increase na ni siya. But, Whatever is the number, it, you can really say na TB is one of the major public health concerns na to. Um, and one of the major infectious diseases po affecting the world, okay, and especially the Philippines. So, um, um, it is both an honor and a responsibility to, charot lang, <laughs> Miss Universe, charot. But again, yeah, TB um, kills so many every day and infects also every day. But good thing na natay tambal na and we just have to follow um, the you know medication course. Dili gyud mag skip, okay? All right. Wag tay mag skip to site ayan in the words of Dean Rodriguez. Aha, I miss. Wag nyo skip to site yan. Wag nyo skip to site. Okay. All right. Okay, so again, um that's those are the numbers. Okay. But again, I think dili na siya updated. All right. So if you want to read more, then you can read sa WHO siguro. Okay. And in the Philippines again, as you can see, ninth siya among the 22 high burden countries. Fourth and um, eighth siya with MDRTB, meaning multi-drug resistant, and sixth siya in mortality and morbidity. So again, I think galing siya updated, but um, generally, appeal good ang TB sa mga top 10. One of the top 10, <laughs> one of the top 10 na mga diseases that may cause death and um, harm in the people of the Philippines. Yes naman. Okay? Alright. Okay, now we go now to your different types of drug-resistant TB. Now, drug-resistant TB, because again of um, um, kanang uh, indiscriminate use of antibiotics and uh, mga tambal dili musunod uh, mga people na nagtambal og TB dili musunod sa ilahang course of um, drug uh, medications of course then makakos ka og resistant to uh, the bacteria okay and we have what we call your MDR TB or multi drug resistant it's resistant to at least two of the best anti TB drugs your isoniazid and rifampicin because these are these two are considered to be the first line of uh, treatment for TB. Now, for first-line uh, drugs of TB, we have, again, your mnemonic na RIPES. Nako, mga public health students ko, alam na to. Sana naman. You have RIPES. Of course, stands for uh, R stands for rifampicin. I stands for isoniazid. P stands for py pyra py pyrazinamide. Pyrazinamide. Zinamide. E stands for erythromycin, pyrazinamide, erythromycin, and S stands for streptomycin. Okay? Alright. So, it's right. Muna siya ang first line. Meaning, these are the um, antibiotics na unang choice. O, di ba? Sana all first choice. Char. First choice against TB. So, you have rights, rifampicin, isoniazid, 
pyrazinamide, erythromycin, and streptomycin. But if the question is, what is the first drug? What is the first drug that was discovered to cure TB? The answer is streptomycin. Okay, the first drug uh, discovered against TB. Okay, first drug discovered against TB, streptomycin. But first line um, antibiotics against TB, you have ripes. Okay, all right. Naho, public health students ko, sinasabi ko sa inyo. All right, dapat lang, dapat lang na remember to. Okay, so again, ripes, do not forget. All right, so again, that's MDR TB. Resistant shot to any of the two, or at least, rather, at least two of the best, the best, the best anti-TB drugs, isoniazine and, isoniazine and rifampicin. Now, we have the XDR next. XDR TB is extremely na good. Intense, intense na yung pagka-resistant. Resistant na siya to isoniazine and rifampicin. Resistant pa siya to any fluoroquinolone or any of these second-line drugs, amikacin, kanamycin, or capriomycin. So, intense na good kaya yung pagka-resistant. Um, okay, so, resistant na siya sa first line of drug for TB. Resistant pa siya to fluoroquinolones and resistant pa siya to um, any of, at least one of the three injectable na mga second line na mga drugs. Amikacin, kanamycin, and capriomycin. So, those are the difference between MDR and XDR TB. Okay? Alright. Do not forget the first line drugs ha. You have ripes. And for second line, daghan na good siya. Okay? Mga casing casein. Alright? Okay. Alright. Now, for diagnosis, of course, number one is, that's what we do. Um, again, usually in the Philippines, we opt lang for DSSM. Okay? DSSM. Dili na siya katong kaning ha. Dili na siya katong DSM-1. Two or three na mga corned beef omelette. Oh, I miss. Okay, anyway. DSSM stands for direct... Um, Sputum smear microscopy. Okay, so kanang if makabantay mo sa inyong internship or kanang sa inyong mga TB dots na TB ay tuldukan, yes, TB dots <laughs> na mga centers, you have DSSM. So ang DSSM, if na yung mga tanan niyo, dung, dahil yung saan ang DSSM? DSSM te, ah, yes naman, magpabibo ka. DSSM te is direct sputum smear microscopy. Na, wow, kabright good mo. Asa ka nagsuila? Silimante. Uh, Malit ng bagay. Char! Okay, of course. Kasi yung teacher, ah, joke lang. Okay, alright. So again, DSSM, Direct Sputum Smear Microscopy. That's it. Um, we demonstrate it um, using acid fast staining. Okay? And number two is, of course, uh, culture. Now, for gold standard, good guys, usually, for gold standard of diagnosis of bacteria, any bacteria, usually, ang gold standard yun is culture. Okay, so for MTB, it's no different. Ang gold standard good for diagnosis of, of TB is cold sure. But then we don't do that because again, it takes so much time para mutubo siya. And again, wala pa ni tubo yung kagaw na matay na yung patient. Right? So, munang mo opta aning um, acid fast bacillae na sample. Um, DSSM. Okay? Alright. You have another one skin test, tuberculin skin test. Usually, it test ng imuhang reaction to the antigen. Okay? Sa skin. So, na yung mga induration. Wow, yes. I remember. Oh my God. Induration. Meaning, na I lump or mag um, butod, butod, butod na mo, mo, mo arise from the injected area sa mong arm usually. And if it's greater than 15 milami, mili, milimeters, millimeters, and then it's significant. If I'm not mistaken, ha? I medyo mga last year pa din na knowledge na ko. Okay, so again, injuration. Okay, that's for skin tests, tuberculin skin test. Yeah, daghan kayong types of skin tests, di ba? If ma remember nyo sa yung para, mga moon test, yes? Moon. Hala, ang sana moon test. That's for ascariasis. Diba? Basta daghan na siya mga skin test, usually for mga parasitic diseases or in any. So for skin tests sa TB, you have tuberculin skin test. Pwede po tayo magamit mga nucleic acid amplification tests. So very, ano na gina siya, specific. You have T-cell-based interferon gamma release assay. So these are immuno na mga tests. Usually, it, it detect ang... ang uh, immune response in patient, okay, against TB. And last is, of course, X-ray. Usually, we um, we partner X-ray and DSSM, okay? So, yeah, so that's for the introduction sa TB. Grabe dami. Ang taas, gosh. Hinan ako katabihan. Anyway, for the next video, we'll now talk about the staining proper or the staining procedure and how we determine TB in a sputum sample from a smear preparation, okay? And we employ the use of the staining procedure, acid-fast staining. Okay, that's for the next video, all right?